Hello everyone, my name is Shanto Okimara, and you're tuning in to Beater's Corner, and finally, we have some new content today in both Sword Art Online Integral Factor and Sword Art Online Unleash Blading. I'm st still getting used to that name change. I'm so used to Rising Steel. Anyway, we got the Lin birthday and G uh, Pito Huli birthday thing. Uh, GGO login bonus back from a previous previous logins we've literally got this last year i don't know about the years before because well, i never logged in i've played the game for years but around this time a few years ago i didn't log in because i just thought the game was dying and i just stopped playing anyway i'm going to show you uh on screen what you can literally do with the stuff on uh you can get because like i said i literally got this before and uh i'm trying not to yell or speak too loud because it is really late right now and by the time this comes out the character for unleashed blading is going to be coming out and you guys can already guess who's going to be out anyway we got the lynn avatar costume it's for only female so uh feminism marches on let's get it baby yeah it's an, it's a cap it's for your head um for all the furries out there because it's a rabbit cap um i, I still lynn is a her IRL character is cool, but, you know, this is the whole NGGO thing. I can't rock with it, okay? GGO Alternative was a really good show, but on the contrary, it was only a good show because I like the character's personalities. I didn't like Lynn as, I didn't like her character model. Why would somebody who's like six foot in real life be like a midget in a video game? Here's a uh, Pito Hui's costume pouch, by the way. Um yeah so you can use that for male and female and it just goes around the waist um not nothing too special um yeah nothing too special i also just passed the bandana but here's pizza hoobie's costume tattoo i used to rock this 24 7 till i took it off finally because it was very cringe and it took up my inventory slot uh for my avatar so there you go. Oh, we got the rabbit cap, guys. We got more. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Guys, it's not like I just went over this. Oh, my God. Here we go, guys. All right, there you go. Are you happy for all the lens stands out there? There you go. I hope you are happy. So I'm about to show you the bottoms and then the top and then the full body costume. Here's Lynn's avatar bottoms. They're for only females because only women get rights, not men. <laughs> Fuck men's rights. Am I right? Anyway, there's your um your rights woman. Um anyway, let's move on. We got the full body costume for Pito Hui. It's the costume set and it's for both male and female. Uh, it looks better on females than male because well, it's a female intended costume. But hey, what can you do? And here is Lynn's costume top for only females. I only put these on um, Silica because she is a lolly, just like Lynn in the game. Uh, however, in real life, Lynn is not a lolly. She's literally like six foot. She could stomp on me. She could literally kill me by stepping on me. I hate that. She could just kill me. Anyway, let's move on to Unleash Blading. Welcome back to Unleash Blading, the Grand Quest Fantasy 3. It's a breakwater Kirito. As soon as I figured out it was a breakwater, I knew. Last time I said I would not scout for him, and I said don't get him, but you guys need to get him because this is the most OP Kirito. Listen, when I say his stats are overpowered, his stats are overpowered. It's a break water unit. And then the new ranking event that's going to come up, we need this. And I'm pretty sure it's going to come up by the time you're seeing this. And it's a floor clearing event. So get it now, please. Please, guys, get it. Okay, please. Look, the max HP is 6840. All right. And the max eight, the max MP is 27, 227. All right. I'm so excited. The attack is 2550 the max attack is 1780 the defense is 1266 1, the max oh fuck it i don't give a shit regardless you can break you can assault and you can charge with it all right his inscar his incarnate skill is armageddon slash level two now he does have imaginarium which you can get on the ranking of it i'm pretty sure uh i might be getting that wrong but that's what the information i have so you can get it however it does only go up by three percent 
uh, for an unlimited amount of turns, your attack will go up by 3%. So don't think it will do a lot. Um, however, you get all, if you get all four, I guess it will go up by 12%. If you think about it, if you just add it up, yeah, get him when he comes out. You better have as much Arcana. I keep saying Arcana. Diamond cubes as I have right now. His special partner is Asuna because he kidnapped her because he felt like it. Um, his leader skill, he starts with a 25% incarnate when there's a fire element enemy. So, oh yeah, make sure he's leader, by the way, if you want that to happen. Um think about this by the way if this man gets over this much incarnate and you have him maxed out he's gonna shred everybody you can also get blooming rose yugio uh, who is a charge unit this does matter you can also get roaring Creole silica who is a charge unit you can also get a good xenon unit because it's a break water and you can enhance with this unit okay Moving on. Oh, you can get the Eternal Ice Swordsman, Yujio, who is a charge unit. So, so happy, guys. You guys should definitely roll. Oh, my God. And you can get the healing character. Oh, my God. It's a Leafa unit, guys. Oh, my God. You definitely have a father, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, and you guys can get D-I-F. You guys can get D I. L, dude. It's L. It's L. It's a break unit. I don't have her myself, and I don't want her either. All right, you can also get Adis. I like this Adis because you can do all three. Very useful for ranking event. I literally just maxed her out the other day. Don't ask how. I did not have the right um, the right amount of whatever. I just didn't have the right amount of stuff to max her out. Anyway, uh, yeah, there seems to be nothing else. Um. Anyway, guys, I think that's it. Have a nice day. Um, oh, no, wait, I am missing something. It's supposed to be here, isn't it, for the ranking event? Uh, let me go back. Uh, I swear. There it is. Yeah, Rondo over Fragile Blade. There we go. Yeah. All right. Yep, it's a floor event. It's a floor clearing event, and it is a ranking event. So this is why I said it's important to get him just for ranking. As you can see, you can get his Imaginarium. Demon Lord Kirito, everyone. You can get him right now. It is a Kirito unit. Anyway, you can read it. You can pause it. I'm not going to sit here and do it for the whole time. You can get a whole bunch of UE stuff. Uh, you can get her stuff stupid evolution crystals because she is definitely a strong unit man <laughs> definitely you can get some tickets for her if you want to unlock her and you can get uh, the arrogant demon lord here towards imaginarium imaginarium i'm sorry right now i'm just out of it bro i'm so out of it i just installed halo uh halo infinite's campaign sorry i was on that grind um you can get idea like swordsman yui i hate yui as a character i really do i hate her i hope she dies i hope she dies and she does double break anyway hope you guys have fun uh see you guys later uh like subscribe this has been beater's corner with sean toro kimara i'll see you guys later have a nice evening Bye bye get kiriko now